Many congratulations. Off Thank and you. running at the Players' Championship here in Minehead. Last game was always tough, but just sum up how you're feeling right now. I know. I'm practicing really good. You know, practicing my my office for the last two weeks. Um, really good. I believe for myself. You know, standard is is, is very good. Um, uh, yeah, my equipment good. Um, I really believe I can I can play really well and, and, and on a good level. First half of the match, averaging well over 105. Yeah. That's vintage Barney, isn't it? I know. Um, first two legs, one dot of the double bang went in. And then I missed a, a crucial shot. No, he, he he really had a good third leg, and uh, I think I left <coughs> below 100 after nine, and he finished it. Uh, crucial was um, not winning that uh, fifth leg before the break. Um, I missed. Three crucial darts and 24, and, and double six and one dart. And I think, oh, come on, Ray, come on. Don't let these doubles, I'm practicing so hard on doubles, and they always go in. Uh, so that was crucial. He, he could have come back with that. But I said to myself, come on, Ray, win it, win it 6 2 now, which, which I did. But you said should have been 4 1 at the break. Yeah. Did the break come at a good time so you could reset yourself and get those missed doubles out uh, of your head? I don't know. Um, it could affect you as well, you know, if you miss three crucial doubles, it could be in, in, your, in your head as well and say, oh, no, not, not again, you know. Uh, he, was, he was getting better and better. Uh, to lose that leg was, 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 was huge. Um, then I went down and then up again and I said to myself, you know, great, you're going to win the next three legs, which, which I did. And, well, if you tell yourself this and uh, yeah, maybe he, uh, he didn't play uh, his A game after the break, I don't know. But uh, Nathan is a phenomenal player, you know, last year in the semi-finals in the world. He won the UK Open here in Minehead. So what can you expect, you know, uh, six months ago he won, he won the championship here in the UK Open. So I was one for him. I know he's a, he's a phenomenal player. When the draw was done, Nathan was one of the toughest ones you possibly could have got, wasn't it? <laughs> well, to, really, to be honest, I don't play opponents, I play the board. And that's what I always do, I don't care about how, how good someone is. Uh, I just want to play the board and, you know, everyone knows if I play my, my, my good game, I can beat everyone in the world. So I'm, I'm not focused on how good every, my opponents are, I don't care. Amsterdam, you put in some really good performances as well. Yeah. Does that give you the confidence coming here that the yeah, TV game is still no, there? Um, against Dave in, 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 the set, uh, in the quarters, it was a, uh, was a really dodgy shot when, when he left 92 and then 20 double 18, double 18 for leading 9-8 and then world class finishing with the last last leg in, in 12 darts, amazing player. Um, but I told him myself, Robert, Ray, right, I didn't play bad there, I played a really good game and uh, I think tonight as well, 99 average, which is 100. Um, if I can sign a contract every match 100 average, I will do this. Joe Cullen up next, another tough game, yeah. but that quarter of the draw has really opened up now by you beating Nathan. Uh, I don't look at any forward, you know, I don't care. You know, I, I love to play here. Every single round is a bonus for me. And I like to warm up for the World Championship. That's, that's the only reason I'm here. If you lift this trophy, um, fantastic money. But what am, what am I going to do with it, ranking-wise, because I give up in, in January, right? Pleasure, Ray. Thanks very just, much. Raymond, just two for me. That's yeah. right, pleasure. Yeah. First of all, Raymond, how, the, the, the crowd in there tonight, they were unbelievable, weren't they? They just, is, do you, are you, are you going to miss try, that sort of stuff? I try, I try not to hear that, because I'm wearing earplugs. So yeah, of course. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm one of the luckiest guys in the world, you know, um, when these supporters, these fans always behind my back, that's, that's amazing. But I tried to block it while I'm playing, you know, it's, it's so hard to focus in when, when the crowd's singing your name and Barney, Barney, give, give us a wave, you know, and you try not to, to get out of your concentration because you want to win this match for yourself, for your family, for your country and for the fans. So I tried to block it out, but everywhere I come, the fans are always amazing and, and here in mine as well. And you touched on it earlier, the fact that obviously you're averaging 105 towards the, towards the back, towards the front yeah. of that game. Is that sort of the fact that you have no pressure in Because like, this is your last is, ranking leg game. There, there, there is <laughs> no pressure, win or lose, you know. Uh, well, to, to be fair, this is for me a warm-up tournament for the World Championship. I'm, I'm not saying this as an arrogant guy, but... You know, what, what can I do? Even if I win this, what I'm going to do with the money on the ranking base? You know, nothing because I'm giving up in January. So I, I see this to, to, to get myself in shape for the World Championship, and which is, uh, which is uh, good. The form is there and I think I can do better than, than 105, 100. I can do this every, every week. I feel confident now. Maybe all, not qualifying for all these tournaments, maybe that, that was good to, to, uh, to focus and get the energy back for, for here and, and maybe next month. Come and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much.